Hi, I had a dream last night, and basically 1 John um, 2, verse 16 and 17 sums up the dream. Um, so I wanted to share that verse with you. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world is passing away, and the lust of it. But he who does the will of God abides forever. So just a reminder to us that the things of the world don't matter, only the things that we do for Jesus. And um, for me to live as Christ and die as gain, as Philippians 1.21 states. And um, we're not to build up our treasures here on earth, but build up our treasures in heaven. And so we need to be busy about the Lord's business um, and witnessing for him. And not, also this is a reminder for us um, not to be um, caught up in the cares of this life um, and not to sin. Um, the, you know, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, not to let those things overcome us. So I'm just going to share the, this portion right now um, of scripture, 1 John 2, 15 to the end. Um, do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world is passing away, and the lust of it. But he who does the will of God abides forever. Little children, it is the last hour. And as you have heard that the Antichrist is coming, even now many Antichrists have come, by which we know that it is the last hour. They went out from us, but they were not of us, for if they had been of us, they would have not they would have continued with us, but they went out that they might be made manifest, that none of them were of us. But you have an anointing from the Holy One, and you know all things. I have not written to you because you do not know the truth, but because you know it, and that no lie is of the truth. Who is a liar but he who denies that Jesus is the Christ? He is Antichrist who denies the Father and the Son. Whoever denies the Son does not have the Father either. He who acknowledges the Son has the Father also. And that brings me to the verse <clears throat> in Matthew 10, 32, where it says, So everyone who acknowledges me before men, Jesus is speaking, I will also acknowledge before my Father who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, I will also deny before my Father who is in heaven. So we need to make sure that we don't fear man and what he can do or the circumstances around us, but to hold fast to the promises of the Lord and stand fast and do all that we can to do that um, with the whole armor of God um, so that we can um, acknowledge him before men and thus he will acknowledge us before his Father. <clears throat> Verse 24 in 1 John 2 Therefore, let that abide in you, which you have heard from the beginning. If what you heard from the beginning abides in you, you also will abide in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that he has promised us, eternal life. These things I have written to you concerning those who try to deceive you. But the anointing which you have received from him abides in you, and you do not need that anyone teach you, but as the same anointing teaches you concerning all things, and is true, and is not a lie, and just as it has taught you, you will abide in him. And now, little children, abide in him, that when he appears, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. If you know that he is righteous, you know that everyone who practices righteousness is born of him. All right, God bless.